Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Let's start our today's discussion on a very important experiment that is an oyster experiment. So all of you know about your magnetic field and electric field. So this experiment actually tells us that this electric field or you can say electricity and this magnetic field or magnetism are not two different phenomena. They can be studied simultaneously and interchangeably. So who is oyster? The oyster is a Danish physicist. He is a Danish physicist who first experimentally uh, proved that how the magnetic field is associated with the electric, electric current and was discovered a particular experiment. So let me just tell you what is his experiment. Now what he has done, he has done a simple arrangement you first try to understand suppose this is my wire a and b and he has chosen the setup in such a manner that suppose this is my east west and this one is north south the wire is kept like this and the current in the wire will flow from B to A. Try to understand. That means from south to north. So if I want to flow the current from south to north. So that means this side I have to keep a battery. Positive end of the battery. And this side the negative end of the battery. The entire setup we have to arrange in series. You see, I have arranged in series. So the current is going to flow in this connection like this. So what he has done, he has taken a compass needle and just kept below this, just below this uh, wire AB. That means the AB wire is going to be over this uh, compass needle. And your compass needle will be sewing. Which direction the compass needle will be sewing? Now you try to understand. The compass needle will be sewing north south direction, north and south. So it will be the needle will be like this. It will be sewing in this direction. But when the current flows in the wire, that means you will just the key is closed whenever the key will be closed the deflection will be towards the waist so this is a very important observation the deflection will be towards the waist so this side is waist you can see from this uh, diagram that is your east west north south so this is a very important observation now if the current in the circuit is reversed that means you have to just interchange this to terminal. That means the current is going to flow from A to B. Instead of B to A, it is going to flow from B A to B. If it is going to flow from A to B, the deflection will be towards east. So this has been absorbed by oyster. And this is, what are the conclusions we can draw? Now, whenever we are taking a compass needle, this one is a compass needle. If we are taking a compass needle, the compass needle has some magnetic field. So, we know that only magnetic field can interact with another magnetic field. That means this current carrying wire that is AB is going to produce another magnetic field surrounding to it. And that magnetic field interacts with the compass needle magnetic field to give you a deflection in the compass needle. So if 
you will just uh, make this key on and off on and off repeatedly then there will be deflection in the compass needle and if you just switch on this key and keep keep it like that then the deflection will be constantly at a particular position and this will be towards west when the wire ab is just kept over the needle so try to understand according to this oyster has given a rule that is known as snow rule so what is snow rule this is very important so when current is flowing current is flowing from where to where from south to north this thing you need to remember this south and north are s and n then the wire is kept over the needle over the compass needle so this is your o s and o then the deflection will be produced towards west so this one is your w so this is your snow rule whenever the current is flowing from south to north just kept over this compass needle as i have shown you here then the deflection will be towards the west so what we are going to do right now we are going to prove it that whether this theoretical part is experimentally occurring or not so let's do the setup okay so here is the setup uh, you can see what are the things required for the experiment i have taken a compass needle so this one is by compass needle and according to the orientation you can see there is a red mark over here uh, that is pointing towards the north pole and this side is pointing towards the south pole so this is my compass needle and uh, here is the switch i am using a switch that is just i have taken for the arrangement and for the power source instead of battery i am using a ac to dc adapter like this the battery charger is nothing but called as a ac to dc adapter i am using that because why i am using it uh, as if you take a battery it is running out quite uh, very fast quite fast because i am just using a wire to connect both the ends of the battery both the terminals of the battery so that's why it is draining out very fast so i am just choosing here a power source as my ac to dc adapter so now let's do the setup what we have to do i have to arrange in such a manner that the current will flow from south pole to the north pole or from south to north so i am just arranging you see the orange one here in this um, breadboard the upper line is positive the lower line is negative the, or you can say this orange one is acting as a positive one the yellow one is acting as a negative one a uh, negative terminal so now let us just close the key now you see the current is flowing from south to north and which side the deflection is the deflection is towards the west i am doing it again i am switching it off you see so there is a deflection in the compass needle and if the current flows continuously the deflection stops and the needle is also at a particular point it is uh, pointing towards a particular direction and it is stopping over there now if you do it on and off on and off first now you see there will be constant deflection so the pointer is pointing towards the west and that is all about your snow rule 
now let us just interchange this two position that means we will interchange the current direction and we will see that what is happening and our observation to our uh, theoretical explanation tells us that it should point towards uh, it should deflect towards east so let's see that just switch off the switch now i am just interchanging this one i am taking it to the yellow one to be positive i am making it and the orange one i am making it negative now let's see what is happening now that means what is the current is going to flow in the opposite direction that means that means from north to south instead of south to north from north to south now you see instead of west the deflection is towards east now this experiment you can do it by taking the other way that means you can take this compass needle and place just over it but your wire will not be visible if you place the compass needle just over it you see what is happening now the current is flowing from north to south because i have interchanged the terminal you just keep it over the wire now you see which side there is deflection the deflection is towards west so this is another important observation if you just keep the wire just below the compass needle then also the deflection varies so this is a very important observation now you see i'm doing it again you keep this compass needle below the wire that means the wire is above the compass needle see i'm switching it on the deflection is towards east now i am switching it off and in the same arrangement only i am just taking out this compass needle and keeping it just above the wire that means wire is below the compass needle you see where which side the deflection is the deflection is towards the west so this is all about our today's discussion regarding the oyster experiment which is a very important discovery which tells us about the electricity and magnetism are related they are not different and thank you everyone thank you for watching